Hey, hello everyone. Thank you for watching my videos. I request you guys to please do subscribe to my channel, which will motivate me to provide the better content. And please share your feedback in comment section. And if I want to discuss on any other topics, please do let me know. I will try to do videos on those topics in upcoming days. In today's video, we will discuss about one important standard FM that is RV Schedule Check Deliveries. Let's understand what is the use of this FM and uh, how to get the data from this FM. Okay, so in my project, I had a requirement to print schedule line wise data in the output layout. It's an order acknowledgement output layout based on schedule lines only. Suppose a sales order item contains five schedule lines, only three of them delivery has been created. In this case, I need to display only those three of schedule lines data in the output layout. I should not display the rest of the remaining two. And in, in, another, in another case, we have in IDAC, is orders are 05, basic type. There we have item segment, even EDP 01. It has one subsegment that is even EDP 20. So even EDP 20 will referring to the schedule line data of an each and every item. If there are five schedule lines in that item, then we see five even EDP 20 in that item. So here also same requirement, I need to display only the delivered schedule line data in that IDAC. Okay, in both cases, in the sales order screen, I can see how much quantity has been delivered after the confirmed quantity field. However, we don't see this data in any database tables. If you if we go and check in VBEP table also, there we see order quantity, confirmed quantity, required quantity, and so on. But there is no evidence or fields available to store the delivered quantity in VBEP table level. So we need to apply some logics database table to get the how much delivered quantity, how much invoiced quantity. Uh, we can write a logic in VBFA table. In VBFA, we have a field called RFMNG. Similarly, in LIPS or VB, uh, RP table also, we, can, we need to accumulate that uh, uh, quantities based on that uh, order number, item number, then calculate and propose the data. For this, we need to write a few piece line of code and uh, we need to apply loop to get the data calculated. In this process, there might be a chance that we might get some wrong data. To avoid these uh, problems, SAP provided one standard function model that is RV schedule check deliveries. So in this FM, we can get the required delivery quantity or required confirm quantity as well. So before we are going to call this FM. First, we need to get some prerequisite data. Suppose if I am going to get the data for order 1, item number 10, then I need to get all the data of order number 1 from different database tables like VBUP, VBFA, VBEP, and VBAP and store it in one internal tables. You see here. Uh, there are different select queries have been written to get data from VBUP, VBFA, VBEP and VBAP and store it in one internal table. Then we should call this FM by passing the order number and item number along with this table data. You will see here. So we are passing order number, item number and table data. So after this FM is executed, we will see the delivered quantity in the field VSMNG. 
in the structure 